Hey, Mia, what are you up to? You're Googling the 90s? Sweet! The 90s were dabomb.com. That's 90s slang for super cool. Oh, and speaking of dot com, did you know the World Wide Web, what you're using right now, was invented in the 90s? It's a system that allows information and media to be accessed over the internet. Before the 90s, the internet existed, but it required a lot of technical skills to navigate. That was until 1989, when a British scientist developed the World Wide Web to make the internet accessible to anyone. By the late 90s, the internet was an essential part of everyday life. Without the World Wide Web, your life would be completely different. You wouldn't have email, text messaging, or even social media. Mia, are you even listening to... Whoa! Um, Mia, I think we're stuck inside the computer. Hello, my name's Webster. It appears Mia entered a password that opened a portal from your world to mine. Welcome to the World Wide Web. Hi, Webster. Uh, it's nice to meet you, but how do we get out of here? Well, someone's gonna have to re-enter the password from the outside. <sighs> Easy! The historians can help us. Mia, what's the password? You don't remember? Great. We're stuck here. No worries. All we need to do is go through Mia's search history to find the password. Looks like Mia was searching the social, economic, and political impacts of the World Wide Web. Historians, can you help us? We're sending you a PDF now with Mia's search history in it. See if you can figure out what the password is as we explore the World Wide Web. Let's start with the social impacts of the World Wide Web. Historians, think about the role of the internet in your life. How do you think it changed the way people communicated and received information? Nowadays, the whole world is at our fingertips. We can search the internet to find the answer to any question and communicate with friends and family anytime. But before the 90s, accessing information and communicating with others was a very different and difficult process. People relied on newspapers, television, and radio for news. And if they wanted to learn something new, they'd have to take a trip to the library. Today, we can go to websites like Wikipedia, to learn anything and everything we need or want to know. But before the 90s, people had to use actual encyclopedias. In the 90s, the World Wide Web became the world's biggest library. It all started with Mosaic, the first web browser. Looks pretty different from browsers you use today, like Google Chrome and Safari, doesn't it? A web browser is a software application used to access the internet. Mosaic and other early web browsers had just a few websites, but soon search engines were developed, which are websites that help people find web pages from other websites. Oh yeah! I remember a search engine called Ask Jeeves. It was revolutionary. You could ask it any question in simple conversational language and Jeeves would find the answer online within seconds. Oh, you know Jeeves? He's a good friend of mine. But I haven't seen him in years, probably because by the late 90s, more advanced search engines like Yahoo and Google were developed, making finding information even faster and easier. 
Soon enough, anyone with internet access could publish information online. Blogs and personal websites became popular platforms for sharing knowledge and opinions. This increased access to information, but it also led to a lot of inaccurate information being published. Historians, can you think of any ways that misinformation is spread in our world today? You probably said social media is a common way misinformation is spread in our world. And guess what? Social media was born in the 90s, too. Let me introduce one of the original social media platforms, AOL Instant Messenger, better known as AIM. It's a way for people to chat over the internet. With AIM, you didn't need to make a phone call or even leave the house to catch up with friends. You could send instant messages, as long as both of you were online. Besides AIM, many other online forums and chat rooms emerged as spaces for people to discuss ideas, share interests, and meet new friends from around the world. It sounds like the World Wide Web made the world a little bit smaller, connecting people and ideas across the globe. Mia, where did you get that outfit? You bought it online? But this is the 90s. There was no online shopping. Actually, Anthony, you're totally wrong. The 90s marked the dawn of a new era of e-commerce that would forever change the American economy. With the introduction of the World Wide Web, the seeds of online shopping were planted, and they grew rapidly. It all started with a few pioneering companies that recognized the web's potential. In 1994, a little-known startup named Amazon was launched, selling books over the internet. This might seem normal now, but back then it was revolutionary. Platforms like eBay were also created, which allowed anyone to buy and sell things online. These sites showed that the internet could be used for more than just finding information. It could connect buyers and sellers from all over the country, even the world, without them having to leave their homes. Well, I'm grateful for that. I buy everything online. Historians, think about the role of the internet in the economy today. How do you think it impacted the economy in the 90s? Well, it wasn't just retail that transformed. The World Wide Web changed how companies did business. They could reach a global audience with their websites, advertise their products to a much broader audience, and even make transactions online. This digital marketplace allowed small businesses to compete with larger ones in ways they never could before. So I guess industries like web design, digital marketing, and information technology were all developed in the 90s too. There must have been so many new career choices. Absolutely. As the internet grew, the economy did too. This had a huge impact on the stock market, which is where investors buy and sell pieces of companies called stocks. Investors were really excited about the potential to make money in these new industries. Yep, I know all about that. But we'll learn more on that later in this unit. If we ever get out of this computer... We have one last link to explore to help the historians find the secret password the political impacts of the World Wide Web. Today, we get a lot of our information about political campaigns and elections from the internet. I guess that all started in the 90s? Sure did. In the 90s, political campaigns began to use the web for the first time to share information, engage with voters, and fundraise. The 1992 presidential election saw the use of email campaigns. 
politicians could send updates, fundraising requests, and calls to action straight to supporters' inboxes. This direct communication was faster and could reach more people than traditional methods like door-to-door -door campaigning. The internet has made it so much easier for people to find information on political issues, candidates, and elections. Websites provide resources for voters to research candidates' stances on issues, empowering them to make informed decisions. Exactly. And don't forget about the impact on political activism. Online forums and discussion groups allowed people to debate issues, organize events, and mobilize for causes with a click of a button. The internet revolutionized voter engagement, making politics more accessible and interactive. These changes have only continued to evolve, reshaping how we think about political engagement and activism in the digital age. Historians, how does the internet or social media impact the way you interact with politics or social movements? Uh, historians, are you still there? Please tell me you figured out the password to get us out of here. The portal's back open! Mia, are you ready to get back to the real world? We're back? And you still have your 90s outfit! The 90s really were the bomb.com, huh? From transforming how we access and share information to revolutionizing communication, shopping, and even politics, the World Wide Web has indeed shrunk the world, connecting people and ideas like never before. It's crazy to see how innovations like email, online shopping, and search engines like Google were such novelties in the 90s and have become essential parts of our daily lives. As we continue to navigate the ever-evolving digital landscape, let's keep exploring, learning, and understanding the impact of these technologies on our society and ourselves as we keep making history.